Hello, I'm Andrew Lewis and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we have a need for three more species. Uh, our money might not be able to support that, but otherwise we're pretty good. Uh, animal rating, four out of five stars. Conservation could be better. Education is pretty good. Marketing is pretty decent. Guest happiness could be higher. Oh, mechanics. We've discovered a staff facility. A large keeper hut. Okay, we could definitely use that. Uh, what I want to be doing, though, is instead putting you on... Is it habitat? To get... One-way glass. There we go. That way, our animals won't get stressed. Because they don't know anyone's around. Because people can look in and no one else can look out. So we'll put you onto barriers. It'll take ages to get up there. Might finish the game before that. Uh, right, how are we doing otherwise? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think we could probably increase our price as well a little bit. Up to 20 bucks. And then make it 18 for kids. Yeah. And you're expecting offspring. Good for you. Ow! Hey, little puppy. Hey, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Photographers would really kill to be able to make time stand still. Right. One of the things I'd like to do is go to the zoo, go to animals, and then have a look at welfare. Is there anyone we can really improve? Uh, okay. A lot of the American bisons could be improved on. And some of the snakes, etc. I mean, to do that, we need to improve the layout, which we can't really do. So what we'll do is we'll target the bisons. Do we have anything we can use to improve your way of life? Um, what is your current issue? Enrichment... Food enrichment, they need some better food, and interspecies bonus, we can't give them that, so. Do we have grade two food quality? Okay. And habitat, uh, species, American bison. Yeah, we'll need to research something for you. We could actually start doing that. Research level three. You know, we'll get some working on the eastern brown snake. See what that actually does. No, actually, the common death adder. Not that common. We don't even have a breeding pair. Can we get a breeding pair? Common death adder. Oh, hello. Some female black wildebeest appeared. I'm going to get you and you. No common death adder. Hmm. Could get ourselves some ring-tailed lemurs or some Nyala. What do you say for your size, Nyala? 300 square meters? One male up to three fem uh, up to four female. Yeah, you'd probably fit in here. How big is this? Yeah, four hundred sixty-four. Um, you'd probably have an issue with privacy. Like we'd probably have to make that at least, maybe another bit as well. Put the Nyala in there. Yeah, let's do it. Or we could get lemurs. Although lemurs are very fond of climbing. And they are endangered. 
So then 20 meters of climb ball, 210 of that, grade one climb proof. So you can have some really uh, easy uh, walk, but they would need to be climb proof. Temperature, they need to be a bit warmer. We could put the lemurs in here. We'd need to make this wall not clamble, though. So it would probably need to be turned into corrugated, or we could go for red brick. I think we'll go brick in this case, just because this one's brick as well. And then you'll need something clamble for the center. So habitat, species, R for ring-tailed lima. Oh, we have a load of stuff unlocked for them. Excellent. So put that there. Put a medium bit of bedding here. They probably don't need much. And then... So a small bit of bedding there. Now, you want water. Uh, oh, that should be unattached. There we go. Can I rotate you with Z? No. Okay. Do I don't want you sticking through the wall. There we go. Alright, habitat. Cardboard box. Enjoy the cardboard box. Block of frozen fruit. Uh, have yourself a block of ice as well. And a small ball. And a sprinkler. And that should probably do you for food as well. Oh, we can give you on our borrow feeding platform, so we can actually put a feeding platform up. Make you go up and get it. So, here's a trick that I'm going to use. Put a climbable branch here, and you might say, hey, that's too close to the wall, they're going to jump over. You'd be right. But, instead of having to place it here and have it stick out at a weird angle... We can place it here. And then, do the same again. You know what, we'll probably want to take advantage of this space here with you. Which means that we can probably move some of you down to this area here. Right, habitat. Um, we're going to borrow a feeding platform. Clamble ramp. There. Again, we'll need to rotate you. Doop. Doop. And then... Like that. And then from here we can put some other stuff in. Like, this is really, really high. They probably won't ever get up here. But I kind of want to see if they can, like, 
Give it a go. Ah, you know what? We've done. We've done what I said you never should do. And I placed it on the ground without actually doing this. Yeah, that's good. That's probably too big. Just a little. Just a little too big. Uh, I think we'll rotate you. So that you're vaguely in line. Or, you know, I could just not. That works as well. I want to make it a nice habitat, right? These are lemurs. They should, they should deserve something cool. Uh, rotate. Rotate. You know, I think what we'll do is we'll actually pull you back a little bit. And then... How thick is the log we need here? Like a four meter? Yeah. We use a four meter thin. I think for this one, we'll actually use a few more of them. And then we'll come back again. With you. I'm wondering how we do this last bit. Probably just, just a huge platform. Just a huge platform. Why not? And then bring it forwards enough that it can overlap. And then you. Da 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 da. And then we just need to put a few two meter logs in. I don't know if this one's gonna be tall enough. No, I have to use a four meter log for this one. Kinda wanna do that, but it looks weird at an angle like that. Uh, sure. Yeah, you know what? We don't need to support. Sod it. That looks good to me. Let's get ourselves some lemurs. Animal trading. Bring me the lemurs. Uh, hi there. Let's just double check the Zoopedia on you. One male, minimum two female. Okay. Oh, 
I think we will spend a conservation credit on you. Because you're a little bit endangered. And if we breed good lemurs, we can send them back for conservation points. Uh, we already know we're getting all the three female lemurs, regardless of their stats. Because we need three male female lemurs, and there's only three female lemurs available, so we're getting all of them. Stored animals. Um, oh, hi. We should probably rename you. Can I rename you from here? No. One, two, three, four. Hopefully they can't jump from here to anywhere over here, which is quite possible. Puff Adder is expecting offspring. Good for you, Puff Adder. The ball is being very realistic with physics and has just gone whoop to the end. There's a lot of poop there. Go away, shoot. I should be able to right-click this alert to get rid of it. Can't. Come on. Oh, hello. High amounts of litter. Uh, it's true, we could afford to hire another couple of caretakers. Oh, here we go. It's the delivery coming. Aww. Yes, it, it is a cleanliness risk. Please, clean it. Like, seriously. Call a keeper, call a vet, call a... You know what, call everyone. Hello. You are a large specimen. What's your size characteristic? 66%. Okay. Uh, you are... Victor... Uh, ooh, ringtail limits. We'll deal with them in a minute. And you are... Patupi. Welcome. Oh, we didn't name the wolf pups. <gasps> Hello. You are named... Devil. Both of them are male. Ah, that's going to cause problems. And you... are named... Alex. What are your genetics, by the way? Uh, oh, terrible fertility. Good fertility, everything else is mediocre. Hmm. Not a not good draw that time around, but... Here we go. Got a load of lemurs. Okay, how are you finding it? You need a crap ton more plants. From tropical Africa. Terrain is actually fine. Okay, could do a little less short grass. Uh, climbable area, we've got almost double what they want. Walkable area, almost double what they want. Yeah, you're happy about that. Okay, this is the male lemur. You'll be named Alderon. Solid male, uh, male lemur name there. There. Words. Words are hard. Um, odd bald. Kihira. That's a good lemur name. And then, last but not least, Doug. Doug the Lady Lemur. Duck the lady Lima. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. So much going on over here just because it's just unclean. We might have to just alter this habitat. I don't want to. 
because it'll make it a mess with all the floors we've laid out. But we could move the habitat so it's got basically over here a bit of adjacency with the crocodiles. Uh, move this a little bit further over, make it visible from here, and then just put a line in the river. Because currently they're just not cleaning it. And I don't know whether it's not cleaning it or they're not cleaning it because there's a river. But they just aren't doing their job and it's only that habitat. That's three diseased animals in there. I don't know if we have the quarantine space for that many. Four. Oh, that's a low welfare warning. That's because you're right next to the window, mate. You should probably move away from the window. Yeah, all the bison. Ooh. I'm not going to name the spiders. I think that the exhibit animals don't really get much attention, so... We'll probably only name the ones in the actual habitats. Okay. None of the lemurs... I was going to say none of the lemurs have escaped so far, but we have... Uh, a cat in the lemur den. It's going to murder a lemur. Quick, get the vet there. You can't find accessible staff room. Now's not the time. Oh no. Oh no. I thought, oh, it's gonna go for the lemurs. No, it didn't. Of course it's going for the people. Of course it is. All of you should run now. Uh, you, you should run. Why are you not running? There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot it! Okay. Okay. The vet got it. Right. You're on the roof as well. How did you get on the roof? Oh, these poles are climbable. Yeah. You're still up there. That's great. This is fine. This is fine. Nah, damn it. There we go. I'm actually going to lower it to even lower than before. Now, fun fact, that'll make you like that. And what we can do about this is we just need to edit this barrier. Doop, 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 doop. And uh, you need to be taller, although I don't see the height. Marker. Why don't I see the height marker? Oh, there we go. We're going to go up to five meters there. It might look a little bit dumb, but those cats have have had that a few times. Right. 
Right. You are now free. Uh, terrain implants. Yes, sorry. Uh, you're having issues because I'm guessing snow? Yeah, snow. Okay. Uh, we got a little bit distracted. Right. Habitat. Heater. And we're going to be cautious of these heaters because they might affect the snow leopards. And as much as the snow leopards were very naughty recently, I don't really want to harm them too much. Um, 20 should do the job. Hello. You're up here again, are you? See, I think they're on top of that beam. Okay. Yeah, you're jumping to the other beam, which is why you're sunk down in the roof a bit. Uh, you're about to have offspring on the beam. Glad you jumped down to have the offspring. They might have a bit of trouble coming off there. Right, where are these snow leopard kitties? I want them. Give me the kitties. Give me the leopard kitties. Okay, you know what? We'll have to come back to the leopard kitties. Serious injury discovered. Vet called. Okay. I think one of the issues is they keep coming to this. And it's way too far out. We'll place it up here next time. Give them a bit more privacy. Um... We'll dupe that to here. And we'll reduce the range. Wish it kind of gave you an idea of the range on it. Oh well. Uh, right, nature. Let's put some filters on. Biome. Tropical. Continent. Africa. And we do not want to select climbable. We've got plenty of climbable stuff there. That is definitely uh, way too large and very climbable. Okay, how are you feeling about this? Is there anything here you don't like? No, kind of okay with all of those. Uh, we do need more coverage, though, so... You're actually okay, but I'm going to finish this off. The snow is still too high, but hopefully that'll get rid of it. Okay, where about those kitties? Snow is slowly disappearing, but they still don't like it. 
Okay, let's increase the range on you. Oh, you're about to have kids. That's why you have no kids. We put you in a box, Faxon. Okay, well, flicking between you and over here. We'll up your range again to 13. And I think we'll move you a little bit this way. And then we'll dupe you up here. Which I'm sure the guests will appreciate. Hey, do you keep the duped ambient and range? Why don't speakers do that? Where's my other kitty? We've got one kitty here. Oh, there's our other kitty, of course. Excel, you're always up here. You can have those kitties, you said. Reduce fertility, low welfare. Okay. You know, I'm just going to leave you. You're not having the kitties. You said you would. Is this not spreading for some reason? Oh! Was that the sound of kitties? That's the sound of a moonwalking cat. You know what, I'm gonna move this. I was gonna move that on top. Oh my god, really? Seriously? Why cannot select this? There we go. I guess the food is not the hitbox. Put it there. And I'm going to dupe you. And I'm going to put you here, but we're going to reduce the range pretty dramatic. Uh, dramatically? Drastically! Slash. Dramatically. Both. There's still 3% snow, apparently, which is just not good enough. We're just punching a hole in there. Where's this 3% snow you're talking about? Still claiming there's 3% snow. Multiple animals of low welfare. Okay. One. One animal has low welfare, and it's constantly stress. Social stress. Uh, you know, I think we'll have to turn one of these... ...like that. And you're still stressed. It's nearly always related to them eating from this, though. Okay, why can I not select that? It's got the worst hitbox. There we go. Right. Go move. And you're still stressed. There we go. Nope, you're getting stressed again. And we've crashed! Uh, Planet Zoo is crashing surprisingly a lot now. Which is somewhat frustrating. I actually had a bug earlier where um, it full-on 
got into a loop. After last time it crashed, it got into a loop and it just kept trying to reinstall the game. I had to fully uninstall the game, turn my PC off, turn the PC back on, etc. Um, so let's try and restart the game and hopefully it won't have that bug again. Because I want to I wanna make the kitties proud. I want to check on the lemurs. We haven't had a, really, a chance to check on those lemurs. Uh... Right, play. Are you gonna work? Moment of truth. And the moment of truth says... Hold your breath. Wait for it. It says yes! The game does have a long hang time before even showing you the intro. It's a bit awkward. Part of that's because I guess it does loading before it even shows you a screen, whereas a lot of games show you immediately, like some sort of cutscene or whatever, even if it's just like the graphics card, whatever it is, like supported by NVIDIA. When was the last time we had a save? Come on. Come on. Bear with it. Uh, hi. Right. Uh, you are still up there. You can unbox. Uh, that means we need to fiddle the lemur settings. Okay. But everything else is pretty good. We upped your range. Oh, massively. You were on 7 right there. You went to 13 in the end. Uh, we duped you. Put one up here. We duped you again. We put one here. And I'm actually going to reduce the temperature on that just to just get rid of snow. Because uh, the snow leopards don't mind not having snow. They do mind high temperature. Whereas you seem to mainly have an issue with the snow. You not get rid of the snow at two? Okay, maybe like increase that to ten. Okay. Right, lemurs. Give me your feelings. Oh, we haven't done the plants. That's lovely. 2% snow. Okay. I'm going to try and wipe out snow once and for all here. I think it's this area here. One percent snow. Where is it? Where is this one percent snow? Is it in this corner? One percent still. Oh, zero. There we go. And there we go. We've got... Ooh, two. Oh, you're just infertile. And you've got no immunity. Am I sitting in the same one? No. Yeah, you're just both awful. Uh, that's because they're genetic. Uh, is it weird to see the family tree? That's a shame. It'd be nice to see the family tree. Uh, they're, um... They're not great. They're very inbred. <laughs> uh, right, you are going to be... Amazing Steak, which is an odd name. 
to give to uh, one of our little cubs. And hey, you are female. You could totally get with your dad, who is your mum's son. Uh, we need to get some new breeding stock in. Uh, null and void. Uh, null. Uh, void and null. Okay, void and null, actually. Should have just called one void and one null. Oh well. Uh, when they grow up, we'll probably have to ship out everyone in here and just get in new stock. Right, we need... Are you okay with this? Drain. Yeah, they don't mind that snow. You could do a food enrichment. I'm pretty sure we're giving you grade two food. Yeah. Is there any food enrichment like items we can give you? I don't think there is. Species. American bison. Oh no, the grazing ball feeder. Right, we'll give you a grab ball as well. And a block of ice. We'll also give you the grazing ball feeder. That should make you a lot happier. Yeah, people just keep walking in and then turning out. I, I think we're going to have to deal with this. I don't know what we do about the giant tortoises. At least the cleanliness everywhere else seems to be a little bit better. Uh, right. We need... Suitable stuff for you. We could also do with food being brought into this enclosure. Hey. Do you want to bring the food over? Okay, you need closer staff rooms. That's one of the issues that we're having. Okay, we'll do all that. Um, but also, I want to work on lemurs right now. Nature. Biome. Africa, 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 tropical, right, continent Africa. Chuck a few banana palms in. Then some bird nest ferns. Oop, wrong one. Set it on fire with a heater. You know, it's really standard. Hide the ball. As you do. Uh, what else can we have? Get a tree fern in. They can't climb this. Yeah, it doesn't have the climbable tag. Not that means anything. I'm pretty sure the tags lie. Put a banana palm next to it. And then chuck in some ferns around. Ah! Right, how's that? Yeah, they like it. Sweet. That's that dealt with. <sighs> Cleanliness is terrible. Social health is... Oh, social group too large. Oh! Oh my! Ha! 
how much have you been breeding? Like so much you 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 physically can't fit on the chart. You've been breeding a lot. Uh, these are the eastern brown snakes. We need to fix this. We're gonna have to just send some to the wild. Um, eastern brown snake. Zoo exhibits. Uh, not just animals. Name. No, a species name. East oh my god, how many eastern brown snakes? Ten of them. Uh, genetically, you're a little old. Longevity's middle, fertility's good. That's probably what started this. Close that. How do I see your genetics? Is Can I just not see your genetics from here? How am I meant to see your genetics? You know, I think we have to send back everyone who's 1.5 years old. Look how many kids they've had, like 4.7. So you were the one who started this. And 4.4, .4, right. Those are the two that started this. I think we release the old ones to the wild. Yeah, adopted. Everyone else's captive birth. I can't, yeah, I can't release them because I bought them. I'll send you to the trade center. You know what, I think we're just gonna release all of you to the wild. <laughs> you are worth so little. Okay. Eastern brown snakes. There we go, you're quite happy now. Um, because you're by yourself. What do we do about this? Uh, animal storage. I have no animals in storage. Oh, because I sent them to the trading. Okay. Uh, we've just got you. Okay, can we get you, like, a female... Eastern brown snake? Animal trading. Eastern Brown Snake. There are none available to buy. Oh, okay. Well, you can be by yourself for now. You work fine in the exhibit that way. Okay, XL, you're constantly complaining about low welfare. There's not much I can do for you. We're in need one way glass. And your cubs have the same issue. Okay. Um. I guess we will make an attempt to edit the barrier to help you out. I don't think this wall does anything. Right. Meanwhile, over here... Oh, I can't put any donation boxes on there. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, at least we can put speakers in to teach people about the lemurs. Bloop. That's actually really good coverage. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. There's a small overlap inside the pen of uh, the snow leopards. Let me guess, are you having food issues because no one's fed you yet? 
Mm, actually, no. We can put food in manually by doing the like the block of fruit or whatever it is, which is why you have, you're okay with food. Otherwise, you would have starved to death already. Are you all cold? Yeah. This habitat's pretty pretty barren. Though. Why don't we just put stuff in it? Food enrichment is 11, because no one is filling up the food. The grazing ball went in the water. I put it over here, but people will probably forget about it. Oh, you're playing with that. Antelope's about to have offspring. Hey, you. You can have some offspring. Just chilling next to the water beast. Okay. Well, accelerate time so you can have some offspring. Nope. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Hi there. Oh, God. Uh, you're adorable. You're uh, clipping with your mum. Okay, let's go back to speed one. Aww. Oh, that's a pretty good photo up right there. Looking out across the world. Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. You're gonna get that for food. <gasps> yes, you are. Hi there. And you're just trampling all over it. Okay. Did you get the food out of the ball? Is that how that got there? I think that's what's going on here, is you're, like, getting the food at the ball. Oh. It's cool that you also roll the ball. <gasps> hey, you. Oh, you got stubby little horns and everything. I'll take a picture of you there with a tree in the background because that tree's pretty awesome. Little hooves. We need to name you. You will be named Clunky Monkey. Uh, okay. You would think that that would be a a name for a monkey. Uh, clucky monkey, wait, whoops. Clunky monkey. Alright, what's the wrong now? So much low welfare. How do you feel about this tortoise exhibit? What an amazing place, the zoo ticket price is great. The tickets are underpriced, I hope the snow doesn't last too long. Uh, I don't know what to do about the snow leopards. Because they seem to complain rem regardless of what I do. Last, last thing we could possibly do is just edit this barrier. Here. Or here. I'm gonna try here. We 
We know what the problem with the tortoises is. Rawr. Hi there. And you're still stressed. Regardless of what I do. I'm going to just edit all barriers to temporarily be... And I don't know why that caused you to... Oh, because you must have been like on an object or something at the time. Right. And your stress is fixing itself. Okay. Let's try carefully allowing one glass panel. Right. We're going to temporarily only allow one glass panel and we'll make changes as we go. I think this is going to be the second one we'll open up. Right, we've got research. American bison. American bison. Right. Uh, tortoises will do we at some point in the future. Uh, okay, we need to have a staff room a little bit more central. Because we've got one over here, we've got one over here. I think we need one around here-ish and maybe one up here. Hell, one over here, maybe. I mean, it's pretty far out. Um, also, a bigger keeper's hut and possibly one around here. So, facilities. We've made a lot of money, though. African origin keeper hut. Classic keeper hut. Indian keeper hut. New world keeper hut. Okay, nothing in keeping with the original aesthetic. Fine, this is fine. This is fine. Um, oh, well, I've got angle snap on. Ugh. Yes, the terrain modification failed. I am aware. I'm going to undo that. That looks dumb. Ugh, okay. You know what? I give in. We're going to edit. There we go. Facilities. Keep hut large. Trim modification. Really? I could place it there, but not here. What is going on? Well, you know what? Then I'm placing it on top. That's what you've led me to, game. Actually, that doesn't work, because then you have people go, eh, maybe it does work. Uh, it keeps going to go a long way around, but... You know what? Sure. This is going to need a lot of stuff to deal with, but it's maybe efficient. Right. Uh, we want construction. Let's see what we can do with this. Wish I hadn't done that face now. Um, metal plank, right. That's what we're using. Metal planks. Architecture. Wall. Metal plank. Wall.
Oh, I can use that on this. <laughs> right. Shop front. Funny enough, shop front also works at those windows. Then, to sell the look, we need to make sure it looks like it's sinking into the ground. There we go. Literally. There we go. Uh, just chuck on some sort of roof. What roof did we have? Was it you? I think it was darker. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. Maybe we're just imagining it. It wasn't the metal. I guess maybe it was the asphalt. Actually, we can check over here. No, it was metal. Nope. Asphalt. Okay. Actually, it was this, so it was metal. But for bigger room, uh, for bigger buildings, we are using asphalt. Okay, that's why I was confused. That looks really dumb. That's just going to collect rain in the middle. Uh... Alright. Now it's being easy to use and using Z. I don't know why it wasn't before. Uh, okay. Then we just need to put the piping and the cladding up the side. What would that be under? Walls? Plant zoo wall trim. Oh, planet zoo, not plant zoo. Derp. It's a lot more sense when you think about it that way. Although, God knows what it's under. Not wall decorations. Not random shapes. Let's see if we find it under all. Pitched wall cap. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. You. Yes. I don't know what you're under. And there's honestly a simpler way, which I only just realized. Uh, we can just do this. Oh, but you don't snap. Duplicate an advanced move. There we go. I'm so glad this exists. Control X. Right, I'm going to use you. A lot more. Right, we also need to then... Okay, apparently just hitting Enter doesn't do anything. Then we have to rotate you.
and then control X. Oh, okay, we have to exit and then control X again. I think that must be a bug. I don't know why you'd have to exit. Uh, almost got it. Oh, every time I move it, it creates a duplicate. Like, repeatedly until I just exit out. Okay, that's weird. Ah, uh, oh god, no. What's going wrong? I can't stop it. Okay. Control X. Right. It looks kind of horrific. I love it. As a lot of work was put into making that look vaguely pretty, and I have to turn it into a horrible, like, grey block. There we go. But it's my horrible grey block. We also need another staff room. Over here, I think it was. Facility. Hey, that worked. Okay. Uh, right, how do we hook this up? This is actually going to be really difficult to hook up. Didn't expect that to work. There we go. Uh, that looks really weird. There we go. Better. A little bit thicker. Uh, I think we could still go thicker. There we go. That looks weird. But it'll do. Doesn't help that the terrain in the middle is... Just... Yeah. I wish I had terrain tools. The game's like, no, you aren't ready for those. I'm ready for the terrain tools. Um... Okay. Experiment seems to be going well over here. Everyone's bunching up there because they're trying to get a view at things, I think. Hopefully that'll help with the crowd. Because that crowd is definitely a problem. People love the turtles. Tortoises, not turtles. They're not in the water. Water. Aww. The first time Kitty tries to escape. Lucky for us, this has been tried before. There we go. <gasps> and Kitty gets a screenshot. So diddy, my camera can't even really get down to you. Uh, why are you off right now? It seems to have an issue. There we go. The actual displaying game had bugged out. Tortoise is okay. How are we going to deal with you?
The best way would be by just putting a barrier back in, but making it a really low barrier. I think we have to box everyone up and just go to work on this. Um, hey. Box all animals. Can I close the exhibit to people? No. Okay. Well, everyone here is getting kicked out. And the trench is having offspring. Actually, we could do the alternative. We could just bring them back forwards. I love how it leaves the posts in. Really helpful. Uh, path. Move the remaining donation bins. It's annoying because that was a really good feeder for the, uh, the snake pit. Uh, we'll want to move you. Why are you all red? Oh, no idea. Why are you red? No idea. All right, edit barrier. Lengthen that. Juice that length a little bit. And then Okay, can I not get rid of this? That's just dumb. Okay, you know what, whatever. That's staying. Right. Let's move a lot of these things forwards. Might want to rotate that a little bit. There we go. And then I believe it was all of these plants, which were the ones that uh, they wanted. And then, because these walls don't need to be this high, edit barrier. Do, 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 do. One meter wall, tall barrier. Done. Move to here. And then... Oh, I can't unbox all barrier. Um, okay, fair enough. Guess we have to ma move them all manually because I edited the habitat. Come here. There we go.
Okay, we're back to low welfare again. Literally, two windows is enough. Also, the puff adders are complaining, and that's probably because there's a million of them. Edit barrier. Nope. Let's try making this one see-through. No, that's too much. Oh, no. no you're coming back up now. Okay. Protesters have arrived at my zoo. They're protesting my tortoises. Okay. Well, it's not like I just made huge changes. Uh, what is your problem? Stress. Uh, okay. The wildebeest are now stressed. Well, we'll change that to not be glass anymore. Hopefully that'll help. You keep getting stressed and then running away and getting stressed again. Okay. Right. Um, tortoises are doing okay. Vet research. Water beast. What do we get for that? Education and a food thing? No, a toy. Okay. Alright, that seems a lot better. We can just use this as like a path to come this way or something at some point. Yeah, so they do stress out a bit about this path. One thing we could do is alter the movement of the path to be a little bit further away. I think when they're feeding, oh, whoops, that's one big group. Let's uh, alter that. Make the necessities a little bit separate. That should help. search. Save an antelope. I'm just going to let them do their thing. Look at the little gators. Yeah. We're almost up to 2,000. Oh, and they're thinking tickets are unpriced. Well, thank you very much. We're going to go up to 25. And you can be 21. Seems to be a bit better. There's difficulty traveling down here because people are stopping to look in there now. It used to be a bit spread out, but it's not anymore. Tortoises aren't anywhere near as attractive. You're thirsty. Um, how do you get water? Nutrition. Hydration, okay. How did you actually get water? Did I, like, put a pump in over here or something, or...? Let's look, ring-tailed lemur. Not sure. Well, you're gonna get this anyway. That's part in the ground. There we go. And I think I just hit one of the heaters under the ground. Go, go get water. No, there we go. Yeah, you have food enrichment problems for the black wildebeest. I mean, sure, you've got welfare problems as well. But let's see what you complain about most. Black wildebeest. Food enrichment. We've got the grazing wolf feeder. 
We'll give you like a herb marker as well. And a rubbing pillar. We've got a grazing ball already. Oh, we'll give you a large ball as well. Oh, you're about to mature. Congratulations. Your food enrichment's terrible. I think we need a keeper on here full time. Just this one pasture. Or maybe we just like put a keeper, a second keeper on here. That's probably what we'll do. Staff. Why are you idle? Oh, you're on the spider den and only the spider den. Well, you know what? Fine. Bison and croc. Planes and spare. Sure. That should help. Yeah, I think we're going to have to rerun this path. Which is a bit frustrating. Keeper, come to habitat. We could just totally redo this habitat. Now we've learned a few things. Oh, inspectors arrived at the zoo. Oh, this, this is way over time, by the way, but I think we'll we'll see what the keeper says. Not the keeper, sorry, the inspector. Oh, um, we should probably name some of these habitats. Giant tort hab. Uh, lemur hab. Wolf hab. Yeah, that's good. All right. Your list does not include the bison hab, which is good. But you are going to see the African Plains, which we've had issues with. Oh, yeah, we should definitely fix our Puff Adder issue. We have a lot of Puff Adders. Hi, species. Puff Adder, Puff Adder, Puff Adder. Oh, we've just got a lot of male Puff Adders. I think we'll release all but those two. I'm making so much money now. Where's marketing? Oh, does it set to renew? I swear they were not renewing. Okay. Okay, we learned the first thing about barriers, the Gambion. Then we get chain steel posts, then we get concrete, then we get electric, then we get one-way glass, which is what we want. Mm. I think it might be worth moving this. Oh. Several things over here are tied to it. Let's try and edit that.
Right. Now when we move this, it only moves this. Nope. It's moving that as well. Okay. Move it a little bit further away. Almost tempted to move it over here somewhere. Well, that's awkward. Hopefully that'll mean they'll stay a bit further away from people. Giant tortoise habitat, five star. Snow leopard habitat, only four star. Just chilling there. Chilling after a game of footy. As you do. Oh, I don't want to select anything. Ah. And now I've moved my camera really far away. Come back, camera. Want to get a picture of them playing footy? Oh, lovely shot. And it's gone in the water. Of course it has. Foul ball! Right, how are you doing, Inspector? Croc hab. Crocodiles are dehydrated. They literally have a river. I, I don't I don't get how that's a thing. I really don't get that. How's the thing? Fine, you know what? We'll give the crocodiles some water. Uh, I can imagine it being really difficult for them to get hold of water, those crocodiles. I mean, where would they have to go? They might have to go to, like, some sort of specialist purveyor of water. Lima habitat. They love it. Oh, you're going to see Clunky Monkey. Clunky Monkey often complains. Oh, the red need tarantulas have issues. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute. Oh. There's fighting. For st alpha status between the sable antelopes. This is not good. Here it is. Ah, what happened? Why did my view suddenly jump away? <laughs> oh, hi there! This feels like a meme of some kind. Either way, we should uh, in intervene, actually. We should intervene before the inspector gets here. Um, you're going to see clunky... Oh my god, you're going to see the fighting. I think, Clunky Monkey, you're the one who's relatively young here, right? So we should release you to the wild. Problem solved! And you're all super stressed because of the fight. One star because they're all starving. We're going 
gonna have to duplicate that feeder. Great. That ruined our review. What? No, no, stop fighting. Oh, please don't fight. <sighs> okay, which one of you we're gonna get rid of? Yeah, go away. Shoot. Go away. I'm trying to click this dude. <sighs> You're really fertile. But we have to get rid of the younger one and release it to the wild. Get all the conservation points. Okay, much better. Right. Let's deal with our uh, animals in the zoos. It was one of the tarantulas, right? Oh my god, I can see why. Uh... Yeah, there's ten of them. It's the... Uh... Earning us a lot of conservation credits. That's really annoying. Just the wrong time. At least the kitties are happy now. <laughs> Funny if they're like, I'm underneath, they cannot see me. This is great. Hide. Keep hiding. We need to name you. You are going to be revisionist. It's your name, not like your philosoph philosophical, philosophical, not your philosophical outlook. Right. And with that, I think. This is a reasonably good place for us to call it for today's stream. Your stress is still... Like, you're really far away from anyone, and your stress is still too high. I really don't get that. I really don't get that sometimes. It's like, I need someone to hide. Well, you've got places to hide. I'm here. You're also really far away. I don't know. Maybe it's like, this is too low. Maybe I need to raise it a step. Maybe it's, it's too far in. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. You know what I said about the snow leopards being fixed? God damn it. We just need one-way glass. I just need one-way glass. It's expensive, but it will fix it. I've been there of Like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, our rating's pretty good. Our conservation rating shot up since we've been releasing people to the wild. It's five star now. Guest happiness isn't great. We should probably deal with that. They are thirsty and hungry. We need more, more thirst and hunger. Oh, and that's a lot of diseases. This one enclosure is just terrible for that. Ugh, I want to redo this enclosure. At the same, that's not really worth it. Uh, what's the report say? Everyone was starving. And you were too dehydrated. You were dehydrated in a habitat with a river. I can't believe. I can't believe that. Fine. I've been at Elysium, and uh, we've got new research. Stay shiny.